Hey everyone, you're probably watching this video for one of two reasons. The first is the statue in the Temple of Time ruins, who tells you that they're trapped under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. Or you found a Zonai construct who told you to visit the Great Abandoned Central Mine and receive something there so that they can, in turn, give you something. Both of these lead you down the same path, but, path, but we're going to start off by focusing on the stone gate of the Great Plateau. After talking to the statue, head to the north side of the Great Plateau. This would have been near the Magnesis Shrine in Breath of the Wild. We're on the lower level, just outside, and you'll see the water leaking out of these stones. You can use a bomb flower or a weapon, and then you just fuse it with one of the many rocks that's lying around to build a stone hammer and smash this. Going up the hill, you'll see a head of a statue here that you can talk to, who tells you to go to the Temple of Time. Back in the Temple of Time, you talk to the statue, and they're going to give you four map markers, which again, just point to the shrines from Breath of the Wild. So this is where the bomb shrine was. You destroy those rocks right beside the giant hole in the ground where the map marker is. Take the eye, drop it down the hole. Now with the eye, I'm just going to brighten up this area. So this is like right where I landed. And then you'll see all these pieces to make a minecart. I'm going to grab a fan, attach it to the back. And then attach the eye to the cart. So it's a short cart ride to where we need to be. And this is the great abandoned central mine that we're going to. So this is where the Zonai construct wants you to be. And at the very top layer is where you'll find some Zonai just above where this cart lands that you can talk to. But we'll focus on giving the eyes to the statue right now. And at the end of the video, I'll show you where those Zonai are. As I struggle to hit the first eye. Now we're at the Cryona Shrine area. You can use three fire flower seeds. Or fire fruits, rather, to melt this ice block and drop the second eye down. Now, this area for me is going to be brighter potentially than it is for you because it's my second time being down here. In the distance, you'll be able to see a big tree or it looks like a big seed that's glowing. And if you use those trees, it'll brighten up big sections of these areas in the depths. So you can see it right there, I'm staring at it. If you want to head there first and brighten it up, it might make it a little bit easier. But this cart ride is going to get us a lot closer in that direction anyways. So after the first cart section here, just pick up the whole thing and put it on the second set of tracks. Now we'll ride back to the central mine. This time we're going to be coming in at the bottom, but right beside where we get off is an elevator that we can ride all the way to the top. I mistakenly jump off early, but there's a second elevator right beside. After we sock at the second one, we'll be going to where the Magnesis Shrine was. Grab the eye, drop it down. The eye's just in the bottom of the water there. And this time we're just doing a walk it in Wendell. Didn't find any minecarts here, but there is another bright bloom seed thing, or a light root rather. <laughs> uh, so you can uh, get rid of a lot of the darkness here. Just 
this guy notices me trying to carry the eye, so he gives a hand. Helps me get it down the hill faster. be going back to near the Cryonis Shrine, where the Stasis Shrine would have been. And for this one, you just need to lift this rock up, and the eye is under there. Once again, going all the way to the bottom, this time we'll carry the eye up a set of stairs, and we'll be trying to give this bird some wings so it can fly, but it already has some wings. So we'll give her a rocket instead. And a battery. A couple batteries, maybe even. So let's attach the eyeball. Let it rip. This one's going to fly you straight to where we need to be. Once you get close enough to the stairs here, and then I just rip the eyeball off and jump off with it. And we're walking it back up the stairs. After you put all four eyeballs in, I'll leave the surprise up to you, but... You know, in short, it's going to give us an area to use these posts and get something out of that. Regarding that Zonai from earlier, the construct who told us to visit these mines and get something here, if you drop down to the very bottom of this room with the statue, this is another way to get to where we need to be. You can use Ascend, and this will take you up to the very top of the central mines, where you'll find some other Zonai construct. And these guys will also give you something. So some pretty decent rewards down here, but again, I'll leave the surprise of what those rewards are up to you. Likes, comments, always appreciated. Till next time, bye for now.